Glory to God, praise Master Jesus. Our God is good. God bless you all. God bless you. My name is Ambassador Frederick Oposwa, and I'm the privileged conveyor of the Room of Prayer Ministry. God bless you, known as the War Room. Welcome back, every one of you. Yeah, a lot of people have been sending me messages. Ambassador, are you off or are you done? online or is there a church coming up no sir no ma i'm severely online i'm severely online but i just needed to rest and i needed the leading of the holy spirit to bring me back on air so to the glory of god god has a word for someone tonight and i believe that as many that can call their friends call their loved ones and make them to join us tonight Tell you, you're not, not gonna regret tonight. I'm telling you the truth. Tonight, you're gonna be so blessed in the name of Jesus. I want to welcome everyone to this beautiful season. And let me tell you this by this time next week, we'll be celebrating Christmas. And I want to tell you all that Christmas is gonna be sweet, it's gonna be a sweet, beautiful Christmas for you and your household. So just join me this evening and let us give glory to God. It's in the cool of the evening. The Lord has always instructed us every Sunday evening to come and worship him, acknowledge him, and give him all the glory. He has been faithful from Monday to this very moment. Let's give him thanks. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you, merciful Jesus. Oh, Blade Sebela Dosha Bragatakia. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are watching me from, make sure you're just celebrating this Jesus. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory be to God. In the highest, amen. Glory be to God in the highest, amen. For his mercies endure forever, amen. For his mercies. And you're red forever. Amen. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself all the glory must be to the lord unto the lord be the glory great things he had done unto the lord be the glory great is he has done unto Jesus, be the glory, great is he has done unto the Lord, be the glory, great is he has done unto the Lord, be the glory, great is he has done unto the Lord, 
be the glory, great things he has done. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. Who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord, among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, yeah, full in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. Thank you, my Father. Ogene miguo, ogene miguo. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. Thank you for life. We celebrate life because you have given us life. Thank you for turning all the enemies meant for evil against us. What the enemies meant for evil. God has turned it around. He has turned it around. What the enemy is meant for evil. God has turned it around for my good. I want you to know that. that the devil has vowed to make cry. The devil has vowed to make people cry and making people cry is his assignment. Making people feel ungrateful is his assignment. Making people Live in regret is the devil's assignment. Don't forget the Bible says in the book of uh, John 10, 10, said the thief coming to steal, kill, and destroy. But there's something that God does, no matter what the devil thinks he knows how to do. God knows how to turn things around. I want you all to join me in prayer this moment. That whatever it is the devil has vowed to do against God's own, that God will keep frustrating it. We are about to enter another week. The devil will do everything to frustrate your efforts, to make you ask God why, to make you ask God questions. You are going to open your mouth and pray and say, Father, all I want to see this week is your mercy. All I want to experience this week is your mercy. All I want to partake of this week is your mercy. I wish somebody can pray this prayer. The Lord said to me this afternoon, He says, Son, get ready for strange mercies. I'm going to be talking to us about that. I'm telling you the truth. The acts of God's mercies are real. The act of God's mercies are real. So I want you to know, join me and pray this evening. As I'm telling the truth, you are going to see the act of God's mercy. The act of God's mercy will be visible, practical, tangible in your life this week. 
I'm telling you the truth. A lot of us are going to be experiencing the tangibility of God's mercy. I going to start this week. I want you, if you believe it, just join me in prayer. Wanting that the mercy of God does is to qualify the disqualified. Is to recommend the, the condemned. If you have been condemned, mercy can make you be recommended. So I need us to take this prayer. Father, all through this week, show me mercy. Show my children mercy. Show my husband mercy. Show my wife mercy. Open your mouth and turn into prayer. Oh Lord, all through this week, I receive your mercy. I receive your mercy. My father, my father, all through this week, I receive mercy. I receive mercy. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh Lord, my God, all through this week, I receive your mercy. I want you to type it and pray it. Type it and pray it. Oh God, all through this week, I receive your mercy. All through this week, I receive your mercy. My father, my father, all through this week, I receive mercy. All through this week, I receive mercy. Manto pala pro conta belebraga du shada. My father, my father, all through this week, I receive your mercy. All through this week, my children will experience your mercy. All through this week, my business will experience your mercy. Somebody open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, all that, that concerns me. Mercy will be involved this week. Lema cope lebra catholica brothers. Lord, I receive your mercy this week. Lord, I receive your mercy this week. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Type it and pray, Lord. All through this week, I receive your mercy. All through this week, I receive your mercy. Open your mouth and pray. Man ko pala man to pale kale bragado se brania. Li ko para ma ko sha brakatila matoya. Le bada bala de bala da bala da bala taya. Le ko pale ma so brakate le badata. Me ko pala broko so bragada brada balata. Mi ko to brikala ma so brakate ba. Li po ko bare ba ko bale kapala ya raso za. In kamala ba ko bariata bala de shada. Le pane Ma koba le bra koba le ga le pa kabala koba re kabala kabara gotoya. Lord, I receive your mercy. I receive your mercy this week. Somebody go ahead and type it on the comment section. Say, Lord, I receive your mercy this week. Oh, Lord, I receive your mercy this week. Ye kapala makoba shada balata. Ye kame lo bra kamala mo so bra katila. Marco Bolo Brecade Balada Galata, I de le broco so Brecanda Malado Bayard. Lord, I receive mercy this week. I receive your mercy this week. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, I want you to understand this that the mercy of God doesn't reject even the worst of all kind of sinners. The mercy of God does not reject anyone. Now, there is something that the Lord began to open my eyes to. He said, there is nothing you need. The mercy cannot retrieve for you. There is nothing you are asking God for that mercy cannot pull out for you. Have you been waiting on God for one thing or the other? Have you been trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Trusting God for a job, trusting God for a contract, trusting God for anything. Even though your sin stops the answer, mercy can take the answer. Oh, someone didn't get that. The mercy of God can take any answer. The mercy of God. The mercy of God. Please make sure you are sharing this broadcast. And the Lord will show you mercy as you share this broadcast. There are most times some of us have been crying to God for this issue, that issue. But I want to make it bold to you all that as soon as the mercy of God is seen, what you are looking for must come to your hand. 
So I want you to open your mouth and pray to God for mercy. Now, one thing that I've come to discover about the mercy of God, it brings to remembrance God's promises. The Bible says there shall be no barren in the land. That is to say, it is written, nobody should be childless. So it is the mercy of God that brings to remembrance what God has said. The Bible said Jesus went about going, went about doing good, healing the sick, casting out demons, delivering the oppressed. There came a man called Blind Bartimaeus. He began to cry for mercy. He said, Jesus Christ, son of David, have mercy on me. Now I want you to understand that Jesus saw a man that understood how to enter or get something from God. He never called him Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, Jesus Christ, son of David, have mercy. One prayer that God cannot reject is the prayer of mercy. How do I know? We're about to see that very soon. In the book of Luke chapter 20, number 23. This is 39 to 42. The Bible said the thief on the other side of Jesus said to Jesus, He said, Remember me when you get to this paradise. And all of a sudden, Jesus Christ responded, Why? Mercy does not stop even. A thief. Prayer point. Yes. Because that man was a thief. He was guilty. But when mercy heard him, mercy took away his past. A lot of us today, we are praying. We are praying. We are asking God for this and that. God is saying, I should tell you, the reason why you've not got answers is because mercy is not involved. Mercy. Mercy. When you get the mercies of God, there are certain things you don't struggle for. When you begin to experience God's mercy, the medicine that stops any nonsense is mercy. Is mercy. If others use Native doctors' medicine to fight people, but we can use the mercy of God to fight for us. God shows us mercy and shows our enemies his judgment. So I want you to understand that this service is a very short service, but I want you to know that the mercies of God will happen to you strangely this week in the mighty name of Jesus. There are some of you trusting God for healing. The mercy of God brings healing. I want you to click on the like button. Everybody click on the like button. Just go ahead and click on the like button. The more you like, the more you click on the like button, the more Facebook helps us to make others know that you are watching. Now, I want you to know that the mercy of God does not work with us either by gender or by qualification. The mercy of God is for everybody. Now, I want you to say, know this. I mean to say, I want you to know this. Why some people are still surviving, which are with us surviving, because of the mercy in the blood of Jesus. The mercy in the blood of Jesus until it's withdrawn from a witch. You can't touch that witch. You can't kill that witch. Anytime you see a witch die, it's because mercy has been withdrawn from that witch. I want you to know that God is still God. God is ready to show you mercy. God is ready to answer you by mercy. God is ready to change your story by mercy. God is ready to stop 
the works of darkness in your life because of his mercy. The Bible says, God said, I, the Lord killeth and maketh it alive, and this mercy is endured forever. So that means when God is killing, mercy speaks for another. I want you to understand tonight that the Almighty God asked me to tell you, you are going to experience the strange mercies of God this week. I say you will experience the strange mercies of God this week. This very week, you will experience the strange mercies of God. You will see, you will encounter, your children will encounter the strange mercies of God. Those that are connected to you genuinely, they will experience the strange mercies of God. I want you to know that the almighty God cannot fail when his mercy is available. The mercy of God makes God to change his mind. How do I know? Like I said, the thief on his side. The Bible said Saul was a murderer. Saul was killing, persecuting the church. But as soon as the mercy of God arrested him, the mercy of God began to use him for God's glory. There are some of you watching me right now that your son is a challenge to you, is a headache. Permit me to use that word. But the, the Lord just has to tell you that your son, the mercy of God can correct it. The mercy of God can put an end to that stubborn character. The mercy of God can stop every kind of habit. If you lack the mercy of God, you lack everything. If you don't have the mercy of God, you have nothing. I want you to know that you are the one God will show mercy next. I want you to know that you are the one God is going to show mercy. I want you to know that you are the one that God wants to show mercy to your family. Hear me and hear me well. There is nothing God cannot do. There is nothing God cannot change when mercy is available. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord will show you mercy. When the mercy of God is, in the, uh, is happening in the family, there is no room for the devil to manifest in that home. So I want you to know that the mercy of God will be the only thing that will manifest in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, you will experience the mercies of God. I say you will experience the mercies of God. It's a mercy of God that makes your time come earlier than you expect. It's the mercy of God that brings you testimonies. It's the mercy of God that makes you qualified for prayer answers. Because I can say this to you, everyone, that our righteousness as a filter rack is only the mercy of God that presents us worthy. It's only the mercy of God that can bring us before our answer. I want you to know that the mercy of God is available tonight and God will show you mercy. I want you to type it wherever you are watching me from. I want you to type it, I am the one God has shown mercy. I want you to type that word. I am the one that God has shown mercy. Go ahead and type it. Make sure you are liking this video. Make sure you are liking this video. I am the one the Lord has shown mercy. I am the one God has shown mercy. I want, I want you to type it. I am the one God has shown mercy. When God begins to show you his mercy, I tell you the truth. There is nothing anyone can do against you. A man that God shows mercy is a man that God can kill for his sake. For his sake. I want you to know that the almighty God will show you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Where others are being condemned, mercy will speak for you. I decree you will experience the voice of mercy on your behalf 
the voice of mercy will work on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. I said the voice of mercy will work on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. The voice of mercy will do the impossible on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. The voice of mercy will open your womb. I said the voice of mercy will open your womb. The voice of mercy will open your womb. I said the voice of mercy will open your womb. And I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, may the hand of mercy come upon your case. I said may the hand of mercy come upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Luke chapter number 23. Luke 23 verses number 39. Hallelujah. So verses number 43. Luke chapter 23. Verses 29. To number 42. I read God's word. And one of the male factor which were hand railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and save us. Verse 40. But the other one answering rebuked him, saying, Doth not thou fear God? Seeing that at in the same condemnation, and we indeed justify just justly, sorry, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing amiss. For the two the last, and he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me. When thou cometh into thy kingdom, Jesus said for the three, Jesus said unto him, verily I say unto thee, today shalt thou be with me in paradise. I'm preaching briefly on the topic the Lord gave to me this afternoon. The strange mercies of God. I want you to know it's a prophetic word that you and your household, even your business, is initiated into the strange mercies of God after now. The mercies of God is strange. There are people you never expected them to become anything in life. But God shows them mercy. Even though you don't like them, but God will still show them mercy. There are people today, they, are, they choose to live in condemnation. But I want you to know that mercy is an amender. It doesn't matter what how condemned you are. The mercy of God can amend things. It doesn't matter what the sin is. The mercy of God can speak. I want you to know tonight. Some of you are, are, are you have condemned yourself. Some of you have said anything to yourself, just like the, the man by the side of Jesus on the cross. But that day, the man decided to speak, and God showed him mercy. And he said to him that this day, not tomorrow, this day. So when mercy come, your time has come. When mercy come, your time has what come. I want to prophesy to at least 30 persons, 30, that you will experience the strange acts of God's mercy this week. I say where others are crying, the mercy of God, the mercy of God, the mercy of God will give you results this week. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter how long you have waited. All I know is that when the mercy of God comes, 
when God decides to show you mercy, it doesn't matter what your enemies may be saying. It doesn't matter what the enemies may be thinking. It doesn't matter what they are thinking. It doesn't matter what they are saying. But as soon as the mercy of God comes, you become the subject and you become the topic. As soon as the mercy of God comes, celebration comes. I want you to understand that the mercy of God is strange. How can a man that was a killer now all of a sudden become one of the greatest evangelists, evangelists, I mean to say. And one man that wrote two third of the New Testament. Why? Is the mercy of God. If it's today, we will judge Paul. If it's today, we will condemn Paul. God is not after the condemned. God is not after those condemning you and me to say God is after the person that they are condemning to show him mercy. I tell you the truth, God is going to show people mercy this week. When mercy comes, when mercy comes, all you have been struggling to achieve, mercy draws it close to you. Are you aware there were crowds but the Bible said the more blind but miles heard that Jesus was passing and he began to cry out, Jesus Christ, son of David, have mercy on me. I want you to know that when mercy comes into your life, it doesn't matter the kind of altar that has been working against you. If mercy shows up, mercy can swallow any kind of altar. Mercy is a defender. No wonder a, a songwriter said, Mercy said, No, I'm not gonna let you go. I'm not gonna let you slip away. So, mercy, when mercy takes hold of you, it can't let you go. Many of us don't understand this mystery of mercy. I have seen people. That should not be helped, but mercy brought help to them. Many are saying to blind Bartimaeus, keep quiet. It's not here for you. It's not here for you. But as soon as God's mercy begins to speak for you, all of a sudden, you become the center of attraction. You become the topic. The Bible said as soon as the same people that were telling him, shut up. The same people, because mercy has prevailed. Somebody just type in, mercy will prevail for me this week. Mercy will prevail for me this week. Go ahead and type in the comment section. Mercy will prevail for me this week. As soon as the same people that told him to shut up, heard that mercy has attended to him. All of a sudden, they now say he called D. Hey, he now say he called D. I decree whatever your prayer has not penetrated before now, I speak into your life prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ. The mercy of God will penetrate that place. I said, the mercy of God will make. Make a bold show of the devil. The mercy of God will bring to pass that miracle. Can I tell you something? If you have been praying, if you have been seeking God, concerning anything, cry to God for mercy. God said he will have mercy upon who he chooses to have mercy upon. Ah, that is why I said, I want you to type this prophetic word. I am the one the Lord will show mercy this week. Type it now. You can hashtag war room, hashtag ambassador Fred. I am the one the Lord will show mercy this week. 
when God chooses to show you mercy, others can be busy looking for what you are not even looking for. Something very funny happened this evening. I was invited for um for a birthday celebration. While we were there, my wife received a favor from one of an one of our old auntie I, I knew. She knows my wife. While everybody was there, the lady favored my wife, and my wife never expected it. Even me, we never expected that we we'll even receive favor from that place. One thing that mercy does, mercy bring to pass your requests. All of a sudden, my wife said to the, my, the big auntie of mine, she said, okay, auntie, all I want for you is that give me something for Christmas. Yeah, I think give it for the children, she said. All of a sudden, the woman said, send me your account details. Right there, guess what? Something that happened. My wife began to dance. People thought she was dancing to the rhythm of the song. But not knowing that she was actually dancing to God, thanking God that she came to that place for a celebration. But mercy gave her what she requested. It was just like a joke. She just asked. And I said, send me your account details. And indeed, she was surprised. And I want to promise that that's what's going to happen to people this week. I see the mercy of God giving you what you demand. Giving you what you request. I am Makoba. If you understand what this week is going to give to you, there are some of you this week you will know Christmas will be sweet. There are people already thinking of how will Christmas be. Relax. It's our week of mercy. The Lord will show you mercy. And I tell you the truth, you will testify. Many a times, a lot of us, we talk to God like God owes us. God does not owe you anything. If he chooses not to bless you, you cannot arrest him. If he refuses to help you, there is nothing you can do. Anytime you receive the help of God, it simply means the Lord just showed you mercy. There are some of you watching me right now. You are wondering how will this year end? The Lord happy to tell you, switch to the mercy seat. Switch to the mercy seat. A song that I said, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running to the mercy seat where Jesus is seated. I'm running to the mercy seat. I'm running to the mercy seat. There's a seat called the mercy seat. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. There's a seat called the mercy seat. Excuse me. There's a seat called the mercy seat. There is no one that comes to the mercy seat that will return empty. The Lord I made will tell everyone watching now that will watch also later that come to the mercy seat. When you come to the mercy seat, it's a place of requests. It's a place where you ask the Lord by mercy. And you will receive your miracle by mercy. That's all the Lord says. Come and tell somebody tonight. He said to me, He said, I will show them strange mercy this week. There are some of you that sickness will end tonight because of God's mercy. Why are you looking for medicine when God's mercy is there? Listen to me. When symptom persists, they say, get your doctor. No, in the realms of the spirit, when symptom of certain difficulties persist, go for mercy. When you keep praying concerning one thing and there's nothing changing, go for mercy. Seek God for mercy. I pray for somebody tonight. Your testimony will be 
the Lord has shown me mercy. Your testimony will be, I am the one God has shown mercy. I say your testimony will be, I am the one God has shown mercy. I want you to type down in the comment section. My testimony will be, I am the one God has shown mercy. I want you to type it. Type it on the comment section. My testimony will be this week. I am the one God has shown mercy. Please type it. Please type it. My testimony will be, I am the one God has shown mercy. I'm telling you, this will bring results. It's a testimony that you must share this week. You will be the one God will show mercy. I said God will show mercy to your children. There is somebody that you are supposed to go through financial shame this week. I don't understand this, but I see somebody crying this week. But the Lord, I'm going to tell you, if you can believe, you can pray instead of tears for your shame. God will remember you. My testimony will be God has shown me mercy. I'm telling you, there are some of you watching it now. You are wondering, Christmas is close. I'm telling you, you will be the one that will testify that God supplied all your needs. You will be the one to testify that God has shown mercy and that which you have asked him, he has brought it to pass. God is going to defend you this week. Your testimony will be God has shown me mercy. Blind Bartimaeus, when Jesus had met with him, as soon as he came before Jesus, Jesus asked him a question. What do you want? One thing I need to know, mercy draws you close to the Father. Mercy purges you from you, to, from you being a rejected one to become an accepted one. Mercy is a sanctifier. Mercy does not amplify your weakness, but mercy can amplify you to the father so that to be a father and son, just like a prodigal son. It was a mercy of God that took him back in. It doesn't matter how far you have gone from God. God said, I should tell you, that the strange mercy he has sent me to talk about, the mercy of God will pull you out of that past. I don't know what your past looks like. I don't know what you have gone through. I don't know what the challenge is. But I see mercy challenging your challenges. I see the mercy of God challenging that thing that has become a problem. The mercy of God will challenge it. How many of you believe that the mercy of God will challenge that sickness in your body? The mercy of God will challenge that doctor's results. The mercy of God will challenge that doctor's prescriptions. Or doctor's uh, 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 um, diagnosis, I mean to say. Whatever the doctors are, doctors are diagnosed, the mercy of God can challenge it if only you can open your mouth. Blind Bartimaeus would have remained blind. The Bible says he was sitting at the highway. As soon as he heard, like you are hearing tonight, that the mercy of God will confirm that which you have been asking heaven for. The mercy of God is a confirmer. It can confirm that you are truly God's son, God's daughter. A lot of times, Sin separates us from God. Mercy draws us close to God. I see the mercy of God drawing people close to the Almighty. I see the mercy of God pulling you close to your desires. 
I see the mercy of God bringing to pass all you have desired. I see the mercy of God speaking for someone right now. There's somebody watching me right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I don't know if this is a singlet. I'm seeing a woman sitting watching me. I don't know if it's a singlet, they call it, you believe call like we men would call it singlet or a vest, a vest kind of. I don't know if it's a spaghetti, they call this. I see a lady sitting down wearing something like a spaghetti and you are wearing a shirt and you have been worried. The Lord have me to tell you the mercy of God is taking away that worry in 72 hours that which is bothering you the mercy of god will take it away everybody share this broadcast right now because i see god selecting families that he wants to show mercy in the next 72 hours rose mbawi god bless you and uh, Nadine Morgan, first time watchers, God bless you. I see God, everybody share this broadcast. I hear the Lord, he wants to pick families that he wants to show mercy. I hear the Lord say, I want to pick families I will show mercy. I hear the Lord say, I want to pick families I will show mercy. And I decree prophetically as a priest of this broadcast, as a priest of this altar, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will show your family mercy. I said the Lord will show your family mercy. I see God showing your family mercy. I see God showing your family mercy. There's a lady watching me. The Lord said he has shown you mercy several times. He has shown you mercy several times. Ole kabala de shabra katoba le kabila basifa di shabala. There's somebody. I don't understand this. I'm hearing your stepmother is angry with you, and she's looking for a way to take your life. Your stepmother. Your stepmother. And you have been having certain dreams of deaths. You have been having certain dreams of deaths. The Lord had me to tell that person. He said, I will show you mercy. And I will show your stepmother judgment. The Lord said, I will show you mercy. He said, it will show your stepmother judgment. There's somebody, I don't know, this is my left side. I see most times like you have, there's a, you're feeling your numbness on your hands. Numbness, numbness on your hand, on your arm, I mean to say. Most times you do this that I'm doing. I don't know who that person is. The Lord said, I should tell you, your blood, your blood is touching your blood now by the, by the mercies of God. He says, it's touching your blood right now by the mercy in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, my father. There's somebody, your eyes is twitching. You have to like, like this, like this. You have to like have like a blurry vision first before things begin to get clear. I don't know who that person is. It started by itching. You woke up one morning. You saw, I don't know what they call this thing on the side of the eyes. And since then, you have been itching. You have been itching. And you notice your vision has been blur, blowing. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God touch your eyes now. Because what I'm saying is that 
the enemies want you to use glasses. And as soon as you start using glasses, it will begin to damage your eyesight. Thank you, my father. The Lord is saying to me, I should tell somebody, that whatever the enemies want to shoot into this week, the mercy of God will return it back to the sender. Gifts, a boys and a library, do you use glasses? Gifts, do you use glasses? Please share this broadcast. The Lord is showing somebody mercy. As you share this broadcast, the Lord will show you mercy. Gifts, do you use glasses? Because I don't know why I'm seeing you wear glasses. Nothing will happen to your eyes. Thank you, my father. Somebody type, Lord, show me mercy. Lord, show my family mercy. Gifts, do you use glasses? Oh, my very brother, thank you, Dr. Abraham Moses. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. I need to hear from Gift or Labari. I don't know. Okay. Please put hands on your eyes. Because you will not use glasses. I don't know why I'm seeing you wear glasses. I know you very well. You don't use glasses. But I don't know why I see you wear glasses. Nothing will happen to your eyes. Nothing will happen to your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Calibra Hatter. There's somebody with a bone condition. Please, if you are the person, quickly indicate. There's somebody with a bone condition. God wants to show you mercy now. God wants to touch your bone now. There's somebody with a bone condition. I don't know who you are. There's something wrong with the bone. The Lord wants to touch you now. Please, if I call your case just quickly. Because the Lord wants to show you mercy. Now, anytime God shows mercy, is because he wants a miracle to be revealed. Mercy provokes miracles. I'm seeing here in someone about with a bone condition. I don't know what happened to your bone, but the hand of God is touching your bones now. Thank you, my father. I don't know, there's somebody, somebody that, Lord, show my family mercy. Type that word and like, and like this broadcast. Keep liking the broadcast. Type that word and keep liking the brokers. I'm hearing this so clear. There's somebody, your son, James. Your son, James. And while he was gymming, I don't understand this I see in your son's chest. I don't know what I'm seeing in your son's chest. Your son has been complaining about chest pain. And he got this from the gym. I want to pray for your son. Can everybody hear me? If you can hear me, type fire. Bola Elemeka Bele Gusabra. This pain started from the gym. Most times the pain on the chest is serious. It started from the gene. Kiss the one that the Lord will show you mercy this month. Thank you, my father. The son is complaining of pain on the chest. He got that pain from the gym. I need to pray. Balere so prelika bayadish. I don't know who this person is, but. The Lord just said to me, someone with low spam counts just got healed now. 
Someone with low sperm count just got healed right now. Thank you, my father. Thank you, my father. I don't know who this person is, but I hear the Lord say, hmm, this person, you have a child. You have a child. Spirit of God, help me here. I'm seeing a child. I'm seeing Peter. I'm hearing Peter. I'm hearing pray for Peter. I don't know who has a child called Peter that is watching me now. Peter. I hear pray for Peter. I want everybody to type this word I'm about to say now. 2022 December. I refuse to be sick into the new year. Type that word. I refuse to be sick into the new year. Please, if your child's name is Peter, I need to pray for your child. I need to pray for Peter. Your son's name is Peter. I need to pray for him. Please type that word. I will not be sick into 2023. Adora Okonko, God bless you. God bless Adora. Thank you, my father. It's important I pray for Peter. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. No one here typing this word will be sick into the new year. In the name of Jesus. I decree everyone doing business, anyone doing business that has been experiencing strange delay, hear what the Lord should tell you. The mercy of God is causing remembrance to happen to you. In 72 hours. I say in 72 hours, the Lord will show you mercy. I say in 72 hours, the Lord will show you mercy. I say in 72 hours, the Lord will show you mercy. I say in 72 hours, the Lord will show your husband mercy. There's a woman that has been... I am a Please. Who is holding the husband's picture? Who is watching and is holding your husband's picture? The Lord was to show your husband mercy. Please, not that as I said it now. Are you holding your husband's picture? I took my son for S with chest and it's in Thursday. Um, Nadine, is your son Jimin, took your son. Because what I'm talking, what the one I'm talking about, but the Lord, the hand of God touched your son. Nadine, Morgan, the land of God touched your son. I decree there will be no complications. There will be no complication. There will be no complication. There will be no complication. I don't know who this person is, but I see somebody. I'm hearing different cases. So if it's your case, just quickly indicate. You always feel a sharp. You always feel a sharp pain. On your side. I don't know who that person is, 
you normally feel a very sharp pain on your side. The Lord just touched you now by the hand of mercy. By the hand of mercy. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Sharp pain. And I'm, it's the left side. Left side. They said it's cold. But it's not, a, it's not cold. It's an attack. They said it's cold. You are feeling it's cold. A very sharp pain. Most times, what I see, I see most times when you take water, you have like this. I see the person hold the side. Left, left. I'm touching my left, the left side. If you are the person, just type I'm the person. Sharp pain. Thank you, Spirit of God. You have shown me mercy. Father, show me mercy. Ma ikopaladi. Can I, can I make a prophetic word? There are people that in 72 hours, I'm hearing that word. Hey, who is this person? Who are these people? Who are these people? Who are these people? I hear in 72 hours, God will show you strange mercy in 72 hours. In 72 hours. In 72 hours. God will show you strange mercy. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. In 72 hours. There are some of you, you have been trusting God. Makabalabash. How many of you want to confirm your pregnancy on my birth month? <laughs> I like this one. The Lord just said to me now that for war room, 42 babies in the year 2023. 42 babies. As many that can connect to this, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, you will confirm your pregnancy on my birth month, January. You will confirm it. You will confirm it on my birth month. Listen to me. I'm going to be dedicating babies September. Some of you are dedicated October, some of you November. But get ready, pick your own months. But as many that their faith says yes, carry your babies from January. In the name of Jesus, I heard him so clear. 42 babies. Zebru Katiba. I hear this. If you are a single lady here, if there's one grace I know I carry, is that is the grace when I say things, angels follow it. Angels back it up. I'm telling you. Kalamalozobash. Ziba di labra kotobra. Rachel Ai. Congratulations. As you have said to his ears, he will do it. Zalamon Tebrahika. Anyone that is a single mother here that wants to settle down, 2023, be settled. Be settled. Anyone that is a single mother, I just heard that. Anyone that is a single mother that is ready to mingle for a marriage, in 2023, you'll be married. I'm still hearing somebody pr is praying with the husband's picture. Please, if you are the person, let me pray for you. I want to agree with you. 
that that which you are praying concerning Nadia, I like, I like your faith. May God grant you your heart desire. I want to agree with that person that is praying with the husband's picture. I want to agree with you. Please, if you are the person, let me just agree with you. I see God giving your husband speedy answers in the coming year. I think I can close with this. I'm hearing 72 hours. What you never expected to happen this week. Lord, I connect to this one. What you never expected to receive this week. That which you never imagined to handle this handle. It is this week. You will handle it. You know why? The mercy of God will bring it to pass. Listen to me. Anytime God shows mercy, your enemy cannot question that mercy. Now, I want you to know this. God still answers prayers. Ah, I am seeing God putting testimonies in people's mouth this week. Why? Mercy. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon us. Father, let us call you, Father. I'm seeing God's mercy. I'm seeing God's mercy. I'm hearing mercy on Monday. I'm hearing mercy on Tuesday. I'm hearing mercy on Wednesday. I'm hearing mercy on Thursday. Even on Friday and Saturday, I'm hearing mercy. I'm hearing mercy between now and the twentieth. I see God's mercy prevail for someone. Tile bale koso bragadisha, gabele mato kali bragadasa. Between now and on the twentieth, twentieth, the Lord is visiting someone. Between now and the twentieth. That which you never thought will happen. Between now and the 20th, you will testify. Those of you believing God for, for accommodation, this week, by the mercy of God, take your accommodation. This week, by the mercies of God, receive your accommodation. I say by the mercy of God, you will relocate this week. Zamaleko I see mercy doing it. Ah, hey! I wish you can hear what I hear and see what I see. Everyone that is watching me now, Thor says the Lord. Thor says the Lord. If he did not say. I will not say. Hear what the Lord says to tell you. The Lord said, type this. Mercy has done it. Mercy has done it. Hashtag war room. Mercy has done it. I'm telling you. That's what the Lord just said to me. He said, tell them my mercy will do it. Tell them my mercy will do it. Type it. Mercy has done it. Mercy has done it. Are you trusting God for accommodation? Mercy has done it. Are you trusting God for a visa? Mercy has done it. Are you trusting God for an approval, appraiser? Mercy has done it. Are you trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Mercy has done it. Are you trusting God? I'm hearing it so loud. Mercy has done it. Concerning your health, mercy has done it. 
concerning your husband's expectation, mercy has done it. There's a woman, I, I don't know what's wrong with your leg. You notice your leg is swollen. You can't tell. Please, if you are the person, let me agree with you. God, see mercy. Restoring back that leg the way it was by morning. Who is this person? Thank you, my father. Mercy has done it. Everybody type it. Mercy has done it. Mercy has done it. Ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Your mercies and just forever. Hallelujah. Just keep typing it. Just keep typing it. Keep typing it. Just keep typing. As I worship God with a song. Your mercies and just forever. Hallelujah. Your mercies and just your mercies and just forever. Hallelujah. Your mercies and just your mercies and just forever. Hallelujah. Your mercies and just your mercies and just forever. Hallelujah. Your mercies and just your mercy and just forever. Hallelujah. The Lord said, Ask me for anything. Ask the Lord for anything now. Because mercy has done it. Mercy has done it. He said, Ask and you shall receive, seek, you shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened. So ask the Lord now. Ask the Lord now. I'm telling you this a blank check. This is a blank check. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Keep pale colo bracatia. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. Ask the Lord anything. Ask him. Ask him. One thing I'm sure of in 72 hours. In 72 hours. I don't know who you were told you were diagnosed of HIV. The mercy of God just touched your blood now. I heard him. He said, the mercy of God, my mercy has touched him. Oh, ha. Huh? The mercy of God has touched you. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing it. I, I, I see is it retroviral drugs. I see somebody taking that drug. The mercy of God just touched you. Ah, thank you. The Lord said, I will answer them by fire. I don't know who has this prophetic word. He said, I will answer them by fire. The Lord said, he's going to answer somebody by fire on your behalf. I said, the Lord will answer somebody by fire on your behalf. The Lord said, I will answer them by fire on your behalf. Thank you, my father. The Lord will answer them on your behalf by fire. Mercy has done it. Thank you, my father. Your mercy is just forever. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The mercy of God will make you see that document. There's somebody looking for a document. The Lord said the mercy of God will locate it and you'll find it. Thank you, my father. 
I decree you will be a candidate of God's strange messes this week. I'm telling you, the messes are going to be so strange this week. Anytime the message of God is revealed, help comes. I decree your help will manifest in Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you all. I want you to know that God's mercy will be evident this week. And you will be a particular of it in the name of Jesus. In 72 hours, starting from now, some of you are going to be experiencing the mercies of God. I'm telling you the truth. I pray for you. As you experience God's mercy, may you testify in Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Now, every December, there's a project I do. Every December. Most times, I have our people that partner with me to make sure people laugh or smile on Christmas Day. Uh, most times I, I buy bags of rice and I, I, I've been doing it on my own most times. So but I have about three or two, four people that partner with me to make sure it happens. But now I need to get, because every year I give widows, um, some pastors that can't feed. I, I give them rice, I give them oil, I give them meats that's talking put them in the ziplock bags i share it i buy bags i um, mean cartons of it and i desire to do that this same year by the grace of god we have some rice but i still need to buy more mostly the meats we give them meat we give them that's um, turkey and chicken most times um rice we bag them, we rebag them again. Some we give some 10 kg, some we give them six kgs, just rebag them. So I I just want to throw it open. All right, Rachel, I no problem. That's my number on the screen. You can give me a call. God bless you, Rachel. Now I want us a lot of, some of us to join us. Now we have some rice already that. Um, some people have partnered with us already, but I need to get protein for them and oil also. So join me on this project. Think a bag of turkey now, or is it bag of chicken of the carton of turkey or carton of um, chicken? I think almost forty or thirty-five thousand. I think I'm going to ask my wife for that. So if you want to be a part of it, I think some of us have been part of it already. So, and I, I'm trusting God, the more we delay, I, I wanted to do this, but I've not been online. I've been not been online. And I cannot come online because of this. That's wrong. So I needed God to tell me to come online. I was convinced to come online this night. And he gave me a word. He said, people are going to experience a strange act of my mercy. So if you are led to join me, please, my number is displayed on the screen. Why not? Give me a call. And those of you that have my details already, why not be a part of it? Be a part of it. Your, your 10,000, your 20,000 can go far. Your 50,000 can go far. Your 100,000 will go far. All right? The dollar account, if you need a dollar account, why not join? Please. And there's something I don't do. I don't do it. I don't know how to take phones and snap with people giving them food. We feed beggars every Sunday. We don't snap with them. I don't believe in that. There are people that do it. Some say they do it for accountability. Good for them. If you are not convinced, if you are not led, don't join us. I will not speak of a project that will not exist. No. It's not my thing. Those of you that are close to me, know me about that so be a part of it and the lord will bless you please give me a call maybe after this broadcast it's just for that project please there's a bag of rice you're sending money for a batting bag of rice about 40 to 35 thousand there now thereabouts. so 
35 to 40,000 naira. So if that's what you are led to do, let us know. Let us know. Praise God. The Lord will bless you as you partner with us in the name of Jesus. Now, let me tell you something. Jesus said, when I was hungry, you didn't give me food. When I was naked, you didn't clothe me. And the man said, when did I see you? Jesus said, what you do make happen for others, you are making happen for him. So every Christmas, people always look forward to war room and giving them. I don't see people now doing it also. I'm, I'm excited. People close to me, they are also doing it. I'm super excited by that. It's better you copyright good things. Don't copyright bad things. I want to pray for everyone that's going to be a part of this. I think I'll be coming online again Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday by the grace of God, as God leads me to come. And I want you to know this. As you partner with me, you will never be stranded. The Lord will bless you. I pray that the good God of heaven will secure your own mercy position. That any time you cry for mercy from that position, heaven will show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. There's somebody, this your act of giving is going to complete your healing. I'm telling you the truth. Because mercy will speak for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm super excited seeing you all today after a while, since after the seven night of um, December with a disaster seven night. I'm so happy we are still alive all oh, to still watch this broadcast. And look, I look forward to seeing you again. The Lord bless you. Thank you for being a part of this from January till this December. I know we're going to cross over to the new year together. The Lord has spoken concerning the new year already. But watch out. God is going to show you a strange message this week. 72 hours. The Lord will show you mercy. God bless you. See you when we meet again. God bless you. Shalom. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abound us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. See you when we meet again. Bye.